Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrum. It's time for episode 24 of season 6 of my favorite 20 minutes of the week, The Office. Really quickly, firstly and foremostly, some housekeeping stuff. Episode 23 uh, was blocked, so that is free on Patreon at the moment. I'll put a link in the description because I'm a good guy. Number two, for those of you who may be wondering, I did finish the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and the editor is working on it. At least I hope he is. Uh, and that should be up. I want to say by the weekend, being finished. But let's say Monday, just to play it safe. Don't forget to press the like button for the algorithm, and subscribe. Let's get to it. Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. Yep. That's exactly what we did. It all started when Dwight was tapping his huh? foot against the leg of his desk. When I asked him to stop, he said, I will, when you lose the baby weight. <laughs> Jesus. Tap away. Oh my God. Well, Dwight deserves it, so. Fuck it. I, uh, we're just clicking on every level. Emotionally and sexually and orally, and <laughs> I am not ways. used to relationships going as well. I'm actually having no, trouble focusing sorry. on you have someone, which I do. I have Donna. She is hot. She has a Pilates butt. But God, well, congrats. Get out of here, oh, big God. dog. No, 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 no. You guys sit down. I need ideas. Stanley got to go. Yeah, well, Stanley doesn't help with anything. Come on, shut him up. Shut <laughs> Because when your super hot girlfriend says, I want to go to Mount Pocono, you go to Mount Pocono and you do her. And we screwed. Whoops, TMI. <laughs> she won't say, I love you. Oh, no. How many dates? Should have said it on? first. Nine dates. I said it on the second okay. date. Oh, that seems quick, <laughs> even for lesbians. You watch how much she drinks around you, Michael? Does she leave the room when she takes phone calls? Does she keep mm -hmm. perfume in her purse? Does she shower before sex? Does she shower after sex? Does she? Yeah, she does all that. Sorry, dude. Uh, Michael, oh, no, do no, not no. let your imagination run amok. It's entirely possible. Run what? Do not let your imagination run out of control. Well, that's easy for you to say. You have a bad imagination. It's stupid. I live in a fantasy world. <laughs> you <do? laughs> but you didn't believe any of this was true five minutes ago. That's what makes it so raw. Ever since I found out that Donna might be cheating on me, I have not eaten or slept. <laughs> oh, poor dummy. Not Doctor, don't mean to cut out hot dogs. We all got problems. This thing do his hair. Fucking soy sauce again? Back of the printer started smoking, and then the paper tray caught on fire. That's weird. I haven't heard of that happening. I would even settle for apricot preserves. You definitely heard about it happening. You didn't feel like he was hiding something? I don't know. I did. Like he was covering something up. Can't trust the suits. Never forget it. Two years ago, Andy blamed the warehouse for a late shipment that he forgot to process. We got yelled at pretty bad. Almost lost my job. Man, I was mad as hell at the time. But I said, Daryl, just wait. He's a fool. There's going to be an opportunity. Just be patient. Daryl's promotion is so much fun. The only logical way to find out if Donna is a cheater is to seduce her, bring her to orgasm, then call Michael and tell him the sad news. <laughs> Absolutely. But we didn't have any ice cream. So this is mayonnaise and black olives. Oh my, oh. Oh my it's god. It's comfort food, all right? God. I need to know. Otherwise this thing is gonna spiral out of a muck. Michael? Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm going to talk straight to you because I think you need to hear it. Michael. God, this is so disgusting. Stop, stop eating. eating it. And you you kind of torpedo every romantic relationship you're in. That's talk to him, Pam. Holly, Carol, Jan. Helene. Helene? My mother. Oh. My mother, Helene. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. All of all of the greatest <laughs> loves of my life. Oh. Uh, uh, what are we doing? Uh, but, young man, can you wipe down that seat? Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Twice an animal. Yeah, no. She's not cheating. Oh man. You help me work out this knot. Right here. Hey, yo. Put your fingers. What? No, no, no. Are you sure? What she actually said was, what is with him? He is crazy. I'm coming over there to talk to him. And this was after I have no other recourse but to tell her and Jim Security that you had sent me there to see if she was cheating. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Worst case scenario. I just like you. I can't believe I get to be with you. 
You work at oh. Adult Arcade. Is that on the water? We're going. We are? Yeah. What's up? I got your email. Close the door. Oh, Daryl. Jesus. The only thing I can make out clearly was Andy, problem, eliminate, something. I don't know what it meant. What? No, I bought it myself. Where? Uh, Steamtown Mall. Claire's? Dale's? Ricky's? Earrings, earrings? My God. She is cheating. What <laughs> the fuck? Daryl from outside? So there I am, minding my own business, and Darnell offers me three bucks. All I gotta do is walk by Andy and go like this. Darnell's a chump. I would have done it for anything. I've done a lot more for a lot less. Go! This was taken the same night. This photo was taken this morning. The CC. Oh, Pam. Isn't that something? Wow. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna bust them? Hey, Michael. This idea is neat. Yeah. I've never been. It sounds lovely. Oh, 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 oh. Nice trip. oh, wow, look at golfing. Are you a golfer? I am. Go ahead, Pam. Yeah, I just remembered that I have to go to the bathroom. Pam. Absolutely. What's bad? It's real bad. <laughs> Still no plan. <laughs> oh, God. Just kidding. Andy's freaking out. There it is. There what is? What? <laughs> Who the hell is this? Lowest of the low, that guy. Just a notch above Toby. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not gonna work. I don't know what's going on. Uh, there have been 12 reports of faulty printers oh. out of 400,000. We've investigated okay. every time it's been user it's error. Terrible. They block the vents or something, I don't know. That's why we have the fine print. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. So I'd like to reward you for that. I don't believe him at all, but. Sounds good. Ew. <laughs> How do you know? Pam told me. Did she see me? Yes. I have come to the conclusion that the Sabre Corporation may, yeah. may be overlooking certain safety regulations at the danger. Oh, shit. He's been my partner through this entire thing. I don't want to so prank anymore. Things get real. What I tell you? What I tell you? It's fucking suits. The other man. Who's the guy? Who is it? I'm married. I'm the oh. mistress. Uh, sure. You had your chance. You're no leader. Up out of your seat. Let's blast. Don't listen to him. We're approaching a cool down. If they down. catch us, they will rape us. Go for the cliff. <laughs> and three, two, one, jump. No, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Good jump. You're barely alive. Okay, now nice cool down. Check your pulse rate. Rest in peace. Flight's hilarious. All right, that was episode twenty-four of The Office, season six. Where to begin? That was a good episode. Probably ended our streak of great episodes. But that was a good episode. All these episodes have been good. An intriguing one, at the very least. What do we head to? Um, I don't want to call them conspiracies, but yeah, kind of. With uh, Donna cheating on Michael. Or using Michael to cheat on her husband. Hooey. I've been in that spot. The Michael spot, that is. I didn't find out like that. I knew going in. But, um... I don't think Michael's the type to be able to handle this. I assume she, her husband is not nice or they're getting divorced or they are divorced or they're separated or they've got beef or something. I just can't imagine that being the end of it. Well, he goes, he's a great guy. And I like you too. It's probably the more realistic thing. But I just can't imagine it going that way. We shall see. Dwight was so ridiculous this episode. I think he's the MVP for me this episode. It was close because he was so bad talking to Donna. But <laughs> that scene at the very end where he takes over the class to me is peak Dwight. Like, that's fantastic. That's him at his best. I uh, told you all, never trust suits. And you all told me, oh, well, some suits are good and they're just doing their job. Great. The job is to be untrustworthy. Um, so look out for the best interest of the company, no matter who we got to screw over to do it. 
blow up a fucking printer. Printer's blow up. Oh my god, what the fuck? Now listen, did Mr. Mr. <laughs> I ironically, I had a uh, a religion teacher. Jeez, uh, that's high school. Uh, called Mr. Fagan. I don't remember what his first name was, but he looked just like Gabe. He acts just like Gabe. I would not be surprised if they're brothers. Or related in some form or fashion. Um, did Gabe know from the start? Maybe, maybe not. My gut says yes. Uh, I know he knew when he gave him that $5 gift card. I don't trust any of them. I don't trust any of them. Saber's up to no good. I've always thought so. Anyway. Uh, fun episode. I can see why some of you don't like this arc. You even call it that. But uh, I enjoy it. Listen, I like the characters so much that I could pretty much watch them stand around doing nothing for 20 minutes at a time. And I would find it enjoyable. I just would. Sorry. Uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 